Hey, everybody. Corrections 101 here. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Make sure, everybody, you hit that like button. Uh, Cash App and PayPal are going to be in the description, as always, in case you decide to uh, support the channel in that way. Today, we have a video of um, Shanty Audits, our boy Craig, freshly out of jail for um, pleading guilty to beating a woman who him and a couple of other auditors are going to go to a safety fair where there's a bunch of kids and start recording them like a bunch of freaking uh, creeps. And just to show you, so he was just, con he just pled guilty to domestic battery resulting in moderate bodily injury. He had other charges that were dismissed as part of a plea deal, intimidation, strangulation, confinement and domestic battery those were all dismissed as part of a plea agreement as you can see here but he did plead guilty to felony domestic battery resulting in moderate bodily injury this is the kind of creep that's going to be uh going out and uh being part of a group to film kids so let's go ahead and get into this video my name is mackintosh but i'm just concerned over why someone would be photographing like yeah I, there's so as you can see here he is he he does have the the children there in his camera and as you can see over by the over by the children there in uh there there is another auditor over there filming there's two other auditors there with them. And there he is right there. He's just sitting there filming the kids. So these people are saying that he can't record because there's children over, over there. Public. Oh. You doing all right today, man? I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Maxwell. Maxwell. All right. Nice to meet you, Maxwell. Nice to meet you. You doing all right today? I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, man. So, uh, what are you? What are you up to, man? It's police academy. Or this is Safety Town. Sorry, we got two going at the same time. Safety Town. Safety Town. It's for the kids to learn how to ride the bus, things like that, prior to getting to school. Oh, okay. So, okay. Are these? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are all people like people come and start videoing other people's kids. That's when we have to take them inside and make sure they're protected. Protected from a camera? Well, we don't know either of you, do we? Uh, hey, I know you, and you I, failed I to identify. Your I, I, your I watch your tone so, yeah. with me, Mister. Uh, there's no. Time. What's your badge number? It's four four two. Okay. Man, I was. This officer's being no, nothing but nice, but you you need to watch your tone with me. I mean, it's. This officer's being totally nice. And the officer has a great point. They don't know who you guys are. You could you could be some child diddlers for all they know. As a matter of fact, in your community, there is a child diddler that did make an appearance back into the 1A scene uh, as a frauditor that purposely goes out and uh, films kids just to prove a point. And he's an unrepentant um, chomo who was convicted of having many images many inappropriate images of minor children in his possession so yes there are those in your community that are chomos that go around filming kids and video I don't, any, any, any kids, I don't have a problem you know, it's just we have to keep the kids away from people we don't know okay then don't have them in public yeah. okay uh, and there you go see these guys are such assholes because well they don't have the kids in public if you don't want them recorded okay so Kids can't be kids anymore and go out and play without some weirdo uh, out there recording them. They have to stay inside and never see the light of day if they don't want to be recorded. It's ridiculous. These guys always claim that the police are the tyrants. No. Frauditors are the tyrants. 
Uh, that's fine, man. Uh, I was just wondering, you know, so is this what you're working on today or just... Yeah, we're doing, we're teaching the kids safety and stuff like that. Okay, so that, cool. That's it. Hey, is that what you've been doing all day today? Yeah. Yeah? yeah we okay. have classes. There's two classes a day. So okay. You, you can didn't like... up further if you want. It doesn't bother me. No, yeah, I'm getting everything, I think. But, man, uh, it, so you didn't, like, take a break or anything, go for lunch or anything like that? There's today? a break between the two classes. Yeah. Have you taken that already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where did you go on that break? Yeah, Dad, I'm not going to get it to. Yeah. I, so. I mean, were you somewhere where you weren't supposed to be, man? No, let's not. Come on. We were having a good conversation. Okay. Yeah, no, hey, I, I, no, yes, I agree. This is a good conversation. I'm just wondering, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really just go around and advocate for public safety. You okay. know what I mean? It's what I do. I appreciate so I, that. Yeah. And it's kind of, I know it's kind of what you do as well. Well, that's ironic. He goes around advocating for public safety. No, he doesn't. He goes around beating and strangling women. Oh, yep. you know what I mean? You're a public, basically a public safety officer. You know, that's what you do. So, uh, you know, if, in the interest of public safety, I was just wondering if you would answer for some people, you know, me. Well, there's certain I'll... things I don't get into. You're asking, where am I going to go eat? Where am I going to Well, I don't know that, that you went nothing. to eat at all. You know what I mean? There's been a lot of stuff going on around, uh, so around just, here. Basically, we're doing the safety school for the kids. The kids are learning how to ride the bus, you know, about stranger danger, that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Yeah, I get that, man. The, the only reason I'm asking where you're going is because when we first made contact and we first started talking, you kind of, you slurred your, your words, you messed up what you were saying. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. He wasn't slurring his words. He, he messed up on what he was saying because there was two different events going. It's no big deal, but this is how unserious these guys are. I mean, it's like uh, Farted the Troll says. These guys, it, this is more of a prank channel now. It's not even about 1A audits. It's, it's clicks and views in a prank channel. It's stupid. And it gave me a little suspicion that there could have been something. Really? All right. I mean, you said so say. We're, we're done here. We were having a good time. It doesn't. F <laughs> I was, man, hey, I'll be honest with you, brother. I was just watching a lot of police videos online, and I just thought that's how you guys talk. I have seen now, a lot. If I said that to you, okay, would you do the same thing? Would I would. Just... I would want to. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? I just... And he's got a good point. These these uh, frauditors. Yeah, if he would have asked him that same question, he would have thrown a shit bit. He would have just been started yelling, screaming, calling him a tyrant. It, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I have no problem sitting here talking to you. I don't yeah. care if you're videoing me. Right. But when you start down that road. Man, it's all it's just a script flip. It's all fun and games, brother. Do you understand what I mean? I do, I do understand. No, all the only And there you go. It's all a script, it's all a joke. It's he's not serious. He's he's not accomplishing abs he's accomplishing absolutely nothing. The whole point of it is to like kind of show irony, like we're just you're just having, you know, a good day doing your daily things and then I just come up and start asking you all these ridiculous questions. It's like Nobody likes it, right? <laughs> but we don't. We don't like it when you guys do it. It's just a little fun, ironic thing, you know what I mean? But well, I mean, he did make his point that you know this officer is having a good day, working with the kids, making sure the kids gets uh, you know trained to be safe out in the community uh, in this day and age. And their whole purpose is to go wreck people's days, to make everybody's day miserable, so they can make some shitty YouTube video. Hey man, you have a good day. All right. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Right. All right. Good. Good yourself? Not too bad. Good. Were you ever taking a video with some kids that were uh, getting ready to get on a bus? And there you go. See, this is what these frauditors do. They cut out the stuff that you don't want the, uh, them to see or want us to see, and they they edit their videos to paint a certain narrative, but they never show what they were doing prior to getting all the attention. So here you go. Evidently, they were recording a bunch of kids getting on a bus and stuff. And in today's day and age, yeah, that raises a lot of alarm bells, especially when it's a uh, convicted woman beater who allegedly strangled somebody. Uh, I don't answer questions, man. Okay, so 
Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> That's I'm, can, the reason I ask. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with your constitutional rights or any of okay. that. My name is Macintosh. Okay. Um, but I'm just concerned over why someone would be photographing, like yeah, I, theirs. No, I, I. I mean, do you agree that's a reasonable concern? I'd agree that that's a little bit off. Yeah. Yeah. And if there was, if even the frauditor agrees that's off. That's not right. That's there's something bizarre about that by recording other people's kids getting on a bus. I mean, for all they know, it could be someone planning to abduct a child or something. If someone was videoing elsewhere, maybe accidentally got them. I'd be good with that. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, no. It's uh, nothing like. Oh, sorry. Anyone that's prohibited through the court from being around one of those children, but yet they're here photographing them or whatever. Yep, and there are people in their community that are prohibited from being around children, but they go out and record children anyways. Dang. All right. Well, I mean, does, that, does that make sense? I, at this point in time, I'm going to ask, is this a consensual, is a consensual conversation? It's a consensual conversation. If you'd like to leave, you're right. certainly willing to do okay. so. Okay. And whatever I, point I hope you're trying to make, I hope you're successful with that. Okay, man. Yeah, you have a good day. Yeah, thank you. You too. This is the perfect example of why you don't talk to the police. Me and Gem City News were here for 10 minutes, did nothing illegal, and because we were exercising our rights, we were accused of wanting to harm small children. No, you weren't con you no, you weren't accused of wanting to harm children. They said it raised suspicions making sure that it was wasn't people that weren't uh prohibited from being around children. They didn't accuse you of that at all it seems that not much paints a bigger target on your back than exercising freedom in today's america thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed so anyways there you go not the longest video in the world today but yeah fresh out of jail uh from beating a woman and um him and a couple other idiot frauditors go and decide to record children uh yeah, not creepy at all. So like, share, subscribe. I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. We'll try to get another couple videos out over the weekend. Maybe we'll do a live. I hope everybody has a great weekend and see you in the next video, guys. Bye.